Hi friends, today I'm gonna to share with you 10 different meals and snacks that my kids love to eat. and I'm a registered nurse turned YouTuber and health coach and I share what I eat in a day vlogs and lifestyle and wellness vlogs here on my channel. I have two little babies. Well, not so little anymore. Beckett is three and Bonnie is 11 months. Now both my babies did baby led weaning. Both of them have been meat based their entire lives. I hope there's a few ideas that maybe you can integrate into your kid's way of eating. Let's get into it. First one is chicken nuggets. Now I make my chicken nuggets with powdered Parmesan cheese and pork panko or the Carnival Crisp meat flour uh, that is made from dehydrated chicken breast. Either one of these options is good. Most of the time I'm using pork panko and powdered Parmesan. I just do half pork panko, which is just crushed up pork rinds. You can crush them yourself or buy them pre-crushed. And then I do half powdered Parmesan. I also season uh, the coating with some Redmond salt, some garlic powder, and some smoked paprika. I like that combination. I just season to taste. You obviously can add whatever seasoning that you like or no seasoning at all and just salt after you cook it. I use chicken breast and we either do strips or nuggets depending on the day and I fry them in avocado oil or beef tallow. I don't love beef tallow. Uh, my husband does, but to me it just does not I just don't like it. So I use avocado oil when I am frying my chicken nuggets or chicken strips. This is very easy. I just slice them very, very thinly so that they get nice and crispy and done all the way to the middle without overcooking the outside. Dredge the chicken breast in eggs and then dip them in the Parmesan panko seasoned mix. Sometimes if Beckett is helping me, he really likes to help me in the kitchen. I'll put that mix inside of a Ziploc bag and just do shake and bake. Um, basically it's a homemade shake and bake. So I put the mixture of the pork panko and the Parmesan in the Ziploc bag and then throw a few strips of chicken that have been dipped in the egg wash in there and then he shakes it and then we take it out and we drop it into the hot oil and then we dip it either in homemade ranch, uh, some sugar-free ketchup. Melissa, my friend, has a Chick-fil-A sauce recipe that is to die for and yes, it is sugar-free and it is amazing. I will link that in the comment section. If I talk about any recipe and there's a written version, I will plop that in the description for you guys. I get asked a lot if we supplement the kids. So they do take a few things. The very first thing that they get, uh, Bonnie doesn't get this yet, but Beckett does. Beckett gets vitamin D drops in his goat milk. So instead of drinking cow's milk, he drinks goat milk. He's always drank goat milk from the time he was weaned off of breast milk. And Bonnie gets vitamin D through my breast milk because I supplement vitamin D3 K2 myself. The only other thing that we give Beckett is a multivitamin. So he does take a multivitamin every day and a probiotic. This is more out of abundance of caution than anything. As a mom, I wanna make sure that he's getting everything that he needs and providing multivitamin seemed like an okay thing as long as I could find one that was made well and checked the boxes that I required a multivitamin to check. Finally found a brand that did that and it, the brand is called Haya. Yeast free, wheat free, milk free, gluten free, egg free, soy free, artificial color free, and they are chewables, not gummies, which I really appreciate that. They also send you in your first box a glass container, not plastic. And then every month after that, they will send you a refill in a box, it comes in the mail to you, and it is in a non-plastic refill container. Looks like this, you just open it up and you pour that month's vitamins into your glass container. I love that they aren't using plastic. That makes me very happy. Like I said, sugar-free and zero carbohydrates in these. Beckett has been using these for about two months now. We've not seen any issues. He absolutely loves taking them. And uh, I'm very grateful to have found a multivitamin that was not chock full of sugar. Haya has partnered with me to offer you guys a discount, 50% off your first order if you use the link in the description. I'll also put it on the screen for you guys. So if you're a mom and you were looking for a clean multivitamin for your toddler, 
highly recommend Haya brand. Thanks again to Haya for sponsoring today's video. The next thing that my kids love to eat are cheeseburgers. Beckett eats a normal cheeseburger. It's the size of what my cheeseburger would be. Sometimes he eats two in one sitting. If he's having a really good day and we played really hard, he's really hungry, he can eat two of those cheeseburgers. He loves, loves, loves cheeseburgers. Now, every if we're out and about, sometimes we'll go to Wendy's and get a cheeseburger from a drive through place, but for the most part, I hand patty them or use a hamburger press to make ours at home. Now, we also sneak in some organ meat into his cheeseburgers because we buy um, a cow and have it butchered. And in our ground beef, we have organ meat already ground up in there. So he's getting an extra boost of nutrition by eating his cheeseburgers and he has no idea, which I absolutely love that I can sneak that into his diet. I think if you can get your kids to eat organ meat, that that is awesome. Um, obviously it's hard, <laughs> especially if they look like the organ. Like most kids are not going to eat a liver if it looks like a liver, but if it's already ground up into the meat and they don't know it's there, they're probably not gonna notice it. I also put organ meat in my meatloaf recipe too, which Beckett sometimes will eat that and sometimes he won't. It's not his favorite recipe. For Bonnie, I make her little mini cheeseburgers. So they're like this big around and I'll put a little slice of cheddar cheese on there and she loves them too. Bonnie will eat anything and I'm so grateful for that. <laughs> we also do make your own Lunchables. So I have a few bento boxes that you can buy on Amazon and I just fill them up with his favorite things. So he loves pepperoni, he likes salami, he likes bologna. Uh, you can find clean bologna out there. I think uh, US, USA Wellness Meats, probably the best place to find good beef bologna. Uh, cashews, he loves cashews. Sometimes he'll eat cheese, sometimes he won't. I'll throw some berries in there, raspberries, blueberries, blackberries, strawberries, whatever berry he is feeling for the week. Sometimes he doesn't eat any berries and sometimes he wants a lot of berries. So it just depends on the day. And I put those in the little bento box, make it nice and cute for him. And I also have these little metal cookie cutter things, but they're teeny tiny cookie cutters. I got them on Amazon. If I can find them again, I'll link them in the description. And they make different shapes out of the pepperoni or whatever lunch meat, deli meat. So you can make stars, dinosaurs, hearts, you know, all the different shapes and it makes it nice and fun. And he loves to do it too. So I'll let him do the cutting. So Bonnie does love cheese. So he will cut Bonnie's cheese for her and make different shapes. It just makes it nice and fun and you know, like a Lunchable. The fourth thing is Maria Emmerich's egg pudding. She makes a chocolate pudding from uses boiled eggs and chocolate. And I think she uses stevia. We use allulose. Uh, I can't remember what her recipe calls for, but I'll link it in the description for you guys. It sounds awful, but it is not. It is so freaking good. Beckett used to eat eggs when he was one, uh, one, two years old. He somehow stopped liking eggs along the way. So this is how I get him to eat eggs. And he has no idea that there are eggs in there. He doesn't know. He thinks he's eating something really naughty, okay? Because <laughs> it's chocolate pudding. It's super high in protein and all the things that eggs have in them. So it's a great recipe to introduce to your kid and sneak it in the back door. And like, they'll never know. How would they know? They're not gonna know. Let me tell you, if any kid was gonna know, it's my Beckett. He would immediately go, this, this tastes like I don't like this, but he doesn't, he eats it up. And um, a fair warning, if you use the boiled eggs recipe, it does have a smell to it while it is doing its magic. Uh, I have heard that you can use scrambled eggs and it doesn't smell like that. And I think Two Crazy Ketos may have done that recipe. If I can find that, I'll link that in the description for you as well. I know it sounds crazy, but it is good. Um, number five, electrolyte gummy. These are so easy to make and fun. Get your kids in the kitchen. They love to be spending time with you. Have them help you cook. I, my kids have been in the kitchen since the day that they were born helping me cook, whether that was in the high chair observing or actively participating. Get your kids in the kitchen. I promise you, you won't regret it. So many good memories will come out of it. Is it frustrating at times? 
Absolutely, but it's mostly fun. So the electrolyte gummies, we use a beef collagen and the element electrolytes and you mix them together. I'm gonna to put the recipe in the description for you guys. And you, it, then you pour them into gummy molds that you can find on Amazon. We have some that look like gummy bears and gummy worms. You pour them in there and add a little coloring if you want to. Let them sit in the fridge for a few hours and boom. You got gummy bears and gummy worms and they're good. <laughs> for your kid. They're a great source of collagen and they have electrolytes in them. So Beckett really, really loves to make the gummies and he loves to eat the gummies too. Number six, homemade ice cream. It is hot here. It is so hot here. <laughs> Not as hot as it was in Texas a few weeks ago, but it's hot. So we like to make homemade ice cream. Now there's all kinds of ice cream machines on the market. Whichever one you like, go for it. Uh, for my ice cream, I use heavy whipping cream, uh, a teeny bit of vanilla extract, allulose, and then also I smoosh up some berries. So I'll just puree some strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, whatever flavor I'm wanting to do and put those in the ice cream. You can also use keto chow protein powder or any protein powder to make different flavors of ice cream. Uh, I love the Equip Premier Protein Chocolate. It makes really good chocolate ice cream or milkshakes. And that, you know exactly what's going into that ice cream. This is a treat, obviously. They're not eating this every single day. I'm not gonna put in the effort to make it every single day. Yeah, this is just a good alternative to the ice cream that you buy at the store. It's also cheaper to make your own instead of buying the sugar-free keto ice cream make it yourself it's so much cheaper oh i also put eggs in my ice cream raw eggs yes i do no one has ever gotten sick and i've been doing this for like 20 years now but if it makes you more comfortable you can cook it um, i don't do that i've never have and yes my eggs are fresh and it's eaten within the first day it's not i'm not even storing this ice cream it never there's never any left never Number seven is pizza. Beckett does not like the crust off of pizza, so that saves me a lot of trouble. I don't have to worry about tricking him with a crust. I just sprinkle mozzarella cheese on some parchment paper, put some pepperonis on there, stick it in the air fryer for about seven minutes on 400, crisp it up, give it to him, he's in heaven. We have used cauliflower crust before. He's okay with it, but he ends up not eating the cauliflower crust and just picking the toppings off anyway. So it's almost a waste of money to buy those. Uh, if your kids do like crust, cauliflower crust is a good alternative, but also chicken crust, ground up chicken pizza crust. I will link that. I'm pretty sure it's on YouTube. I'll link that recipe. If you're interested in doing a type of crust, it, is one of the best ones out there. I think it has the most pizza crust like feeling for me. Um, and it's very similar to, I made chicken fries yesterday, bonus recipe. Chicken fries I made using canned chicken and cheddar cheese and Parmesan cheese and garlic powder and onion powder. It's nearly the same. And they tasted to me like cheesy breadsticks. So, it's, it's almost the same recipe, honestly, instead of making chicken fingers or chicken fries, you just flatten it out and make a chicken crust. Taco bowls, Beckett will eat taco meat and he doesn't want anything on it. He just wants the meat. I make my own taco seasoning. I just use garlic powder, onion powder, a little bit of chili powder and cumin. And I cook up that ground beef, again, that has the organ meat in it, and season it for him, put it in a bowl, and he eats it, and he loves it. Bonnie also loves it. Most of it goes on the floor and not in her mouth, but she does eat it. Another summer treat, uh, make your own popsicles. So anywhere, any Amazon, Walmart, pretty much anywhere you can find the popsicle molds these days, they're basically everywhere. So you're just gonna get you some of those and then water, electrolytes, and some heavy cream to make them a little more popsicle-y. Friend Crystal Sykes has this recipe, so I'll tag her in here for this. When it's hot outside, Beckett wants popsicles. 
this is the go-to recipe. There are some that you can buy at the store that are low carb. So if you're not wanting to make your own popsicles, there are some better alternatives out there and they're not perfect, but they are better than the, you know, red, white, and blue high fructose corn syrup crap. And the last little treat are keto bricks. If you've never heard of keto bricks, let me introduce you to the keto brick. It is a huge brick of chocolate um, that has perfect keto macros. I do not eat these, but Beckett is obsessed with them. And they have come out with one that also has organs in it. And Beckett ate that one too and had no idea there was organs in that. Now, it comes in a brick and Beckett eats it like a brick. We put it in a Ziploc, we stick it in the fridge, and after a few days he remembers that there's a keto brick in there and he'll take a few more bites of, off of it and move on with his life. You can also melt them down and use the same uh, gummy trays that you use for the electrolyte gummies and just make chocolate bears or chocolate worms. Chop it up, add butter to it, melt it down, pour it into the molds, stick it in the fridge for a few hours, you got your own chocolates that have organs in them. Crazy. Awesome. Okay guys, those are 10 things that my kids love to eat. Maybe your kids will love them too. Like I said, if I can find the recipes, uh, videos, or blog posts, I will put them in the description so you can go check those out. Make sure to hit the thumb on your way out and subscribe if you haven't already. Maybe I'll see you in the next one. Love you, mean it. Bye.